Hi, my name is Pastor Frank Rojas. Matthew 5.44 says, But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them who hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. On March 28th, 2015, we will be having a rally in San Antonio. What we're trying to do is bring to the attention to America and throughout the nations, the attention not only of the 21 Egyptian martyred Christians that were beheaded by ISIS, but the persecution that is going on throughout the church. Reverend Franklin Graham sounded the battle cry when he said, the storm is coming. America has seen some form of persecution, but in a very small form. But we know that it's coming to America. We see it throughout the, throughout the world in the Middle East right now. People being beheaded. Christians being stoned. I mean, they're buried up to their neck, then stoned. We've seen them burned alive. We see all this in the media. But yet, it's coming to America. And we know that. Eventually, it's going to come here. But we don't have to be fearful. We see it in the news and it scares us because we are not used to it here in America. But Christ said that a teacher is not greater than a student, that if he was persecuted, we also shall be persecuted. It also says in 1 Peter 4 that we will be partaking in his sufferings and that we should rejoice in that. And you say, well, how can I rejoice if I'm being persecuted and I'm suffering, Pastor Frank? Well, how did the apostles do it? How did Paul do it? How did Peter do it, James? How did they all do it? They fixed their eyes on Jesus. They fixed their eyes on the future glory to come. The hope that we have eternal life with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so, not only are we going to bring to the attention that persecution is coming to America, but as it says in 2 Chronicles 7.14, we need to humble ourselves, pray, and turn away from our wicked ways. And America and a lot of the nations have not done that. America has millions of babies being aborted every year. We see men marrying men, women marrying women. We see uh, the enemies of God rising up against our children, against the family. We see that they're teaching in schools the history of homosexuality. Why does our children need to know the history of homosexuality? I'd rather them learn a business course. But this is all part of the plan to desensitize our children through media, through peer pressure, through immoral laws. Where is the church? Why is the church not rising up? Where is the church? We see too many mega churches and preachers fattening their pockets. We see them uh, getting bigger church buildings, you know, better equipment for their music. And then we see churches that don't even have prayer groups. They don't even pray. They don't even seek God's face. They tickle your ears and they're converting false converts. We need to get back to making disciples of Christ. We need to get back to holiness, to consecration and prayer, to uh, reverence, to the fear of the Lord. These things have been lost. America must turn away from its wicked ways. We must humble ourselves, pray, and turn away from our wicked ways. Washington, D.C. does not have their house in order. If you're waiting for the government to do that, that's a false deception. The church must rise up. The church must humble themselves and pray and turn away from their wicked ways. And this is what we're bringing to America and God willing to the nations. Enough. We need to turn away from our wicked ways. So please support us in this cause. Share this video. 
not only share the video, but you can also go to ebay.com and put hashtag 21 persecuted or persecution and you can purchase this shirt if you want to support us. All the proceeds will go for us to travel and for us to proclaim that persecution is coming, that we must 